Question four. So she already has a thousand pounds in a savings account. She's going to convert some euros into pounds and put those into a savings account. Uh, there's a little fee regarding that transaction and how much is she going to have after all of that. So, okay, so she kicks off with a thousand pounds in her savings account. Now we've now got to go and convert these euros into pounds. So we're going to have to do two, something to this 265. Now you've got to decide, do you expect the number that you come out with to be bigger or smaller than 265? Well, we're going from euros to pounds. We're going from this to this. So we're going to be needing to get a smaller number. Okay, because that is smaller than that. So in order to get a smaller number, we're going to have to divide. So that's why we do 265 divided by 1.1452, which is £231.40. So once Magda's gone and converted those euros into pounds, she gets an extra £231.40 into her savings account. So at that point, she would have a thousand that she started with and this extra bit from the euros. However, we do just have to note that when she does that conversion, there is a fee, there is a cost of 79 pence so we have to take that away from the amount that goes into our savings account so how much we actually get in overall in a savings account is going to be the thousand she started with the euros but less take away that 0 0.79 so 1000 plus 231.40 minus 0 0.79 gives us 1230 pounds 61 pence